There is a healthy great white shark population off Nova Scotia's coast, thanks to successful conservation efforts. So what we have up here in Canada is increasing reports of sightings of them by people who spent a lot of time on the water. But he says that isn't necessarily a cause for panic. According to lifeguard in training Hannah Lewis, these prehistoric fish have always been around. We're just becoming more aware of them. We're not invading, but we're like sharing their space. So, I mean, they were definitely there first. So we need to respect that a little bit too. For Lewis, the key to shark safety isn't avoiding the water, but swimming or surfing with a buddy. There's like moments when I'm surfing um, with fewer people or on foggy days uh, where it's definitely on my mind a little bit more. Uh, it's kind of like a sharky feeling. Working with the Life Saving Society of Nova Scotia, Wariski plans to adopt the technique used in Cape Cod and post signs at about a dozen beaches. Unlike signs in New England, these will be smaller, displaying QR codes with information about sharks and how to stay safe in the ocean. It's not a, a panic device. It's not an aggressive sign. It's just a background information to let people know that uh, ocean is home to sharks and we are we are visitors in that ocean. But longtime surfer Jason Beach is skeptical about what message this will send to the public. So everybody's got a phone, so and at any time there's any sighting whatsoever in the Maritimes, people are excited to talk about the sharks. And I, I think it might be a little over the top to put signs everywhere. Beach says he hasn't heard of any encounters nearby, but they may be more common in areas with more seals, like the South Shore. For Lewis, being prepared is the best defense. Yeah, I always like use the analogy of like, you don't go into the backcountry like skiing unprepared, but I find like some people will come to the ocean. They don't really consider their safety. Ella MacDonald, Global News, Lawrencetown, Nova Scotia.